Alrighty, welcome to Minecraft Rewind. No, it's not like a montage video the last year of Minecraft. It's the map, but see, it's like a, a rewind logo, because I guess we have some sort of special power where we can rewind time or something like that. So, let's start the map, shall we? I guess there was a first one. This was not expecting for that to happen. Okay, I guess that must have been the end, and now we've just, uh, we were be kind, rewind, and we're at the beginning now. Everything else seems the same. All right, that was loud and unexpected. Are we actually starting now? Uh, <laughs> so, do I hit it again? Oh, okay, I do. <laughs> uh, who is that? Anybody here, dude? Uh, this is the map creator. My apologies, it's just me, the creator of the map. Who's there, Cat? But you can just call me Ken, as many people say my name wrong. Okay, so Ken, can you start the map? Ken, can you? <laughs> I guess you never realized. You've already began the map, but you just got rewinded with this tool, dude! Minecraft Rewind! Tool? Question mark. Nani, it's called the Rewind Tool, and it rewinds time. It is a prototype, so it doesn't do 100% of what it's supposed to do. Gives a bit of amnesia for a few seconds to those who don't hold on to the tool while it has been used. You also need a save tool, which saves progress so you can rewind back to it. Cool, can I have it? Sure, but only if you pass my experiments for it. They are dangerous. I want to be able to rewind time. I'll do it, dude. My subconscious is already agreeing to contracts that I haven't even reviewed yet. Great, to be clear, I'm not giving you a proper save tool as you could damage the rewind button with it. You will just be given my prototype save tool which only saves your location. I will add the full save tool in certain spots as signs so in case you mess up or unalive, I can then rewind you in time before you unalived. Mmm, clever, so that's how you're existing in Minecraft after you fall into lava or something, you're just rewinding time. So now to begin! I never knew that before. Look at all these arrows, dude. Save! Oh, dear. Okay, cool. I thought I was gonna fall in the lava there. So what do we got here? Press the buttons to get your tools. We will do a little tutorial to give a better explanation of how to use the tools to start with the tutorial puzzle. Save with the save sign. Okay, so this is the rewind. Drop to activate. This will rewind to activate your last save. And save. Okay. So, I'm assuming it's similar to, uh, I've played another puzzle map, I don't think it was the prequel to this, this is called Rewind 2, but he said the previous one didn't live up to his expectations. Um, I remember one that I played with this sort of mechanic being cool, so maybe this is just different, and we'll just hit save. A little disclaimer, you might die if I fail to rewind you before you die, so sorry in advance if this happens, <laughs> just kidding. That's not very nice of you to do to me. Okay. So if you press the buttons, they summon blocks for you to parkour on. The problem is that each button summons two blocks that are impossible to parkour with. The blocks disappear after five seconds. Once the button is pressed, so you have to press both with enough time to parkour on the blocks before they disappear. Activate both levers to beat the puzzles. Good luck. If you give up, then just watch the walkthrough. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming the way it works is, like, I want to save here. Drop to save. And then I can go back over to the other one, and it kind of allows me to teleport over, right? So I go here, and now what I'm going to do is probably screw up because I haven't seen the parkour. But, um, I'm going to go that and drop it, and then, whoo! Oh yeah, I need to hit the other button. <laughs> that would have been a smart thing to do, hit the other button before I go jumping, yeah. Boom, and then hit that button, and then, whoo! Wait a minute. Oh, I see. Okay. I see how it works. So in order to activate all four, you do have to... It is how I thought. It's just they're longer jumps than I expected. So I'm going to screw this up completely. Okay, so... Got it, dude. I got it. And now I guess I have to reverse it. Save on the other side. And actually, I guess it tracks your position. So if I save like that while looking at the button, then I think I'll be able to do it more quickly. Let's see. So that... That, yep, there we go. Okay, so, god dang it! Be better! Jardon, you fool, you're supposed to be good at parkour. You're the one who was asking the Minecraft Saturday tournament, introduce parkour. Doing. Got it. All right, okay, you're on your own now. Good luck, and if you're stuck, then just watch the walkthrough. So, I guess it's the same thing now, huh? 
Oh boy, so this is, now you're just adding an extra level of me having to save. So I save here, and then I go there, and then I'm able to walk, and then I can save my next spot up here, right? Oh wait, but then how do I get to the... Maybe these levers do different things though. Oh, okay, you just have to... Alright, alright, we just have to get all four levers flipped. That makes sense. Maybe I can do some sort of... Wait... Does it? Oh, there are barriers. He thought of that. I was like, I'm just gonna jump across and flip the other. No, it's not gonna let me do that. No, siree. All right. Well, that's fine. We do that, and we do that, and then I do that. Flip the lever, hop back off, and then we just keep doing the same thing over and over. Save it, and then. Oh, too strong. Too strong with the plays, boy. Oh wait, no. We want to do that first. Boom. I like this, though. I like this. Because I feel like maybe I'll be good at it, but also probably won't. So in this level, I need you to test my temperature machine. You have to make another portal. If you want to reset the level, press the rewind sign. Good luck. Tip, you can higher or lower the temperature more than once. Is very loud. Why is so loud? Rewind, lower temperature, higher temperature. What is that going to do? Oh, it changes the way the room works. Lower temperature? Low. Okay, so that's as low as it goes. Higher. 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 That's as high as it goes. You've reached the hottest temperature! Good thing we're not in our aircraft. I'd be baking right now. Oh. Well, that's convenient. Thanks for that. <laughs> Alright, so you just, you know, you fluctuate the temperature enough and you just make this poor guy lose all his marbles. Um, so how am I going to make a nether portal then? I guess I need to just find when there's water and do the old MLG Pro uh, maneuverino. Okay, you be placed on coarse dirt. Can, I guess water bucket can be placed as well. So lower temperature. You look, where's liquid water? I need to have liquid water, please. Can I have? I don't know if there's something that we can do with... Oh, you're... <laughs> he's an ice cube poor guy. What can this break? Uh, obsidian. All right. Is there obsidian somewhere in here? This is kind of confusing. I'm trying to make a nether portal. I reset the room because I'm wondering if order matters. And if we freeze things first instead of increasing the temperature, then when we go back to room temp, the water will still be here. Maybe we can use it to make the obsidian. But let's see. So let's lower the temperature. And then we still have the ice here. And then so we get we don't get all the items, though. Because I think last time we got all the iron along with it. So, oh, does that only happen when you raise the temperature? Hold on, is the water still there when I increase it back? No, the water is gone. Okay, and we have no way to pick up the water while it's still there at the medium temperature, which means that I guess the water doesn't have anything to do with anything, so this can be placed on coarse dirt. I don't know if maybe I just... That's coarse dirt. Oh, okay, so that's something. That auto-filled the whole thing, so we're supposed to do that. This can break obsidian. Huh. Okay, so maybe, what if we just increase the temperature now? Higher temperature. Lava's still there. Got it. And then, ah, okay, so now we have all this stuff. I'm not entirely sure what... Okay, so we have a flint and steel now. We also have iron, though. That's kind of what's throwing me off, is like, what am I supposed to do with all this iron? If not make a bucket with it, but we also have an empty bucket in our inventory. We can do obsidian. So, okay. So order doesn't necessarily matter. If we go all the way back down, then... Oh! Would you look at that! We've got some obsidian, and this pickaxe can magically break it without actually swinging. Okay, so we just have to, um... Force break. We're using the force on this obsidian, and we'll get... Oh, wait, where do I... Uh, this can be placed on coarse dirt, dirt, grass block, and obsidian, so kind of wherever I want to put it, I guess. Do I need corners? Is it going to require me to... Actually, it's going to require me. I have to do corners, don't I? Or at least one, probably. I wonder what happens if I increase the temperature back up after I collect the obsidian. If it will refill this with a lot? Let's see. Okay, so I have 12. Just in case, I'm not going to be a proud person if I have to build corners. But you know what? I might, I might be forced to for the sake... Oh, the obsidian actually stays in place there. It doesn't turn back into lava. Interesting! Okay, well, at the very least, I can do this, right? I'm gonna be so bummed if it messes me up here and, like, doesn't allow it to complete unless, um... Uh, are we good? Are we gonna be good? I think we're gonna be good, yeah. 
Okay, well, we're, it's, you know, not the ideal. It's two blocks beyond where it's supposed to be, but it's a big D. So, do I go through? Is that what you want me to do? I hope this is the right answer. I hope I don't break the map by doing this. Usually I don't just have you, oh, okay. Cool, can't go back though. So we need to go deeper. Look at this uh, Minecraft Rewind sign. Save, absolutely, I'd love to do that. Wow, allowing you to build your own nether portal and go through, that is very trusting of someone playing your map. Oh boy, well, what does this do? Oh god, so that allows you to do parkour on that side. Whoo boy, okay, so, oh, this is gonna be fun. So I have to save over there. Every single time I have to run, oh wait, I forget, you don't right click, you throw it out. Every single time I have to run back over here. Oh god, I hope I don't have to like, combo wombo this super hard. Wait, and then what does this do? That does that. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, at least, okay, so those, those stay, these stay out. No, they don't. They don't stay out. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back and forth so many times. This is overwhelming. Okay, so I go, I, I press this. They stay out for a while. It allows me to go back, and then I have to get to there, and then place the save there, and then go back, and then probably come back to here and then that'll allow me to get there. Whoo boy. Okay. All right. All right. Yes, sirree. Let's see how this freaking goes. Um we do that. Go back to there. I'm going to mess this up. I'm going to mess this up 100%. Okay. There we go. And then that's going to do that and that's going to allow me to freaking No, I didn't want to save there. That's not what I wanted to do! I guess it doesn't matter, right? I can just, I can jump into the lava, and then I just have to... No, never mind, I've screwed everything up. I screwed it all up. Why did I, why did I rewind to here? I don't know why I did that. That was a dumb idea. Did I just, did I just ruin my entire life? You have to chain so many rewinds together. Oh, no! Because I'm here. Oh, Jesus. I screwed it up. I hit the, I dropped the wrong item. It's a rough life. It's a very rough life. So I have to go there. And then... So you do want to, I, I screwed it up anyway. I think you have to save, jump that. I don't know if you can make it all the way. Yeah, I think you save there. You got to save there. Holy crap. Bon voyage. Let's try this again. I guess if I screw up on this one, it's okay because I have a long time to do it. But if not, please don't disappear on me. Oh my God, just in the nick of time. Okay, do not drop the save again. And you go there. And if I screw this up, Oh, no! God, I have to do it again. Here we go again. Oh, please don't mess up the parkour! No! You have to be so fast! Okay, wait, all right, all right. So hold on, it's just, it's just that, it's just that. But then, oh my God, I wonder what that does and if I have to, mm, it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a mess. Okay, come on, I made it! Okay, what does this do? This does everything. <gasps> oh my god. How long does it stay? It stays for a while, which means I think the way to go is I purposely drop into the lava, or do I purposefully go to my rewind save and then go back there and then I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna, no, but if I go into the lava, then it saves my, I can save my rewind spot here, in case I need to, and then if that triggers stuff from here, I can at least, yes, okay, so, we do this, and then we go back as fast as we can, as fast as we can, and then we go, all right, all right, and if I fall, it doesn't matter, because I can go back, yes, oh, deep breaths, how much spare time did I have, decent amount, decent amount, and now, see, if I go there, I figured it rewind, it rewind from there, and now we have plenty of time, I think. Yeah, because how would I have gone all the way there? There's no way. There is no way I would have gotten that ever in a million years. And I can't, I have to keep the rewind there. Oh, God, which direction was I facing when I did the rewind? Because that's going to eat into my time. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! Oh, my God, just in the nick of time! That was so stressful. And if that's just like easing into it, I don't know how many levels there are, but that, oh god, tip, you don't always need the tools for this, you can just go back up and click the button.
Okay, so this is obviously only going to open that door. Do we want to have a save somewhere? Super rewind. I don't know what a super rewind does. Oh, it only it goes all the way back to the uh, save click, which means that. So, yeah. All right, all right. That may. Oh, but it it resets the entire level. So then we don't necessarily want to do that. Um, let's do. We'll drop this here just so we can get back here and keep everything intact if need be. Ah. So there we go. And now if we can find a way to open the blue, maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Did that open? That is the wrong blue. Okie dokie. <laughs> Try that again. Pink. And then I still have the rewind checkpoint at the start. I just don't know, like, wh where's our goal? The maze with <sighs> appearing and disappearing walls is never something you really want, is it? Wait, okay, so that lets me through there, but there's nothing in there to do. Orange lets me go through there, but there's nothing I can do there. I still can't get through that one. So, red opens that, I see. Gray opens this? Where did the gray open? This is very tricky, and I don't even know, like, where I'm trying to get to. That, nope, black is still disabled. So pink opens up something there? Oh my god, dude, I'm so confused. Where is red? How do I get into there? How do I do a, a bunch of things that I'm confused about? Okay, red is there, right. And now, I've already clicked that one, though. It's really hard to keep track of what's been toggled, what hasn't been. And I'm assuming that, yeah, okay. So if you, if you have this, it means there's a button on the opposite side of the wall. Ah, uh, okay, I think I was missing the orange. So that opens that, and now I can hit red, and I can go all the way through. And see what, oh, okay. So that allows me, now this is where the rewind comes into play because now I can access this side of things. And that does something. Cool. Uh, I'm assuming that's kind of what I was supposed to get to. Oh, right, purple as well. That's important, probably. And then orange will let me back through and then I deactivated gray. Uh, but the, where am I supposed to go from here? He says gray is there. I don't know if the idea is I just have to deactivate every single color. But if I do this, and then I get to orange again and deactivate that. Okay, now this allows me to kind of complete the whole thing. And purple. Ooh. Okay, so let's see if we drop down a save right here. And then we hit purple, and we go... God dang it! I didn't want to do that! No! I keep dropping the wrong thing. Okay, so we drop it here. Then we hit purple. We go back. But the what? <laughs> Are these not the same color? I don't understand. There's black over there. Wait, what? What's wrong with this purple, dude? I don't understand. Okay, maybe I drop the save here? Oh no, that was a problem, because now I can't go all the way back, can I? Because green is blocked. Sweet. I think I might have trapped myself. This is, this is a mind melter right here. Holy crap. Through a series of me really just trying random things, I met yellow. Which I don't think I've hit before, so there's that. And then blue, I haven't toggled, so I'm probably supposed to, and then that's all that I can press in there. So hopefully... That's something, but I've set my save on this side here in order to unlock that stuff. So, um, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I've screwed everything up because the thing is there are other buttons in here that yellow is locked off and I didn't hit those. So, but I could actually, I could go back in, but then I'd be stuck in there because <laughs> it's like you have to know what buttons to hit in advance. Which doesn't seem particularly fair now, does it? I think this is where we're trying to get to. Yeah, probably, which means that dark gray and gray need to be reverted again. So there's a gray there, and there's a dark gray there. Okay, that's something. Uh, but what do I do now? Because um, all the toggles are back. <laughs> Purple toggles over there. 
for me to be able to get through. I think that's the purple tile. So if I save here, maybe. Oh god, I probably screwed something up real badly there. Hit orange, right? And then I can't do anything from here because light blue is cordoned off. And I'm stuck again. This level sucks. You have to know in advance what to do. Okay, wait, so I need to hit that one in order to open this, which will get me dark green, but I, what does dark green even do for me? I don't know. I don't know what dark green does for me. This is a mess, but what else is in there? There's also that, oh wait, is it that one though that I need to get? Because there are like two subtle, there's magenta, there's purple. Okay, so it might be magenta that gets me through there. Oh God. This room is just the most insane memory game that has ever existed, and my god. Okay, I think I might be close to figuring this thing out, but it's, it is a doozy. And it just, it's just trial and error of you like, well, gotta restart the room again. And so here, I, I dropped to there, I didn't even need to do that, but now if I do this, rewind out. Now, I need to, because the magenta uh, yellow locks that out, I need to do the magenta rewind first, I think. And then I can come back over here, toggle that so I can get through. And then I think if I toggle magenta, I can hit that while I'm backing out. And then if I'm correct, this might just have pink uh, and dark gray. So I can toggle pink there. I can toggle dark gray. And then I can get all the way through to yellow. That's going to block that area off, as you've seen before. Blue doesn't come in until later, but I figure I must have to do a hit on it. And then I don't know... I don't know if I toggle dark gray or not. And I don't know if that's going to come in later. That's what I'm kind of on the fence about. But I can toggle you. And I think I can toggle that as well, but I don't know if that's a problem, having dark gray blocked off. And now... Okay, I might actually... Hold on, if I toggle dark gray, does it do that one, or is that black? That is... Okay, so that's black. So don't know that dark gray actually comes into play anymore. So all we need is light gray and black left, or white and black, and I think we'll be okay. So now I rewind to the other side here, and black drops another barrier, so all we need to hit is this one right here, which is white or light gray, and um, I do that, and then I can drop green, which opens me back up over here. Oh, right, wait, I have to, I forgot. Black, I need to set a rewind first, I think, back, or save back at the start. Okay, brilliant. I think, it's, I think it's brilliant, and now, I can toggle this. Whoops, no, I can't do that, wrong order. I can toggle that, and I can toggle this, and I think if I can get back to where I was before, then I can get all the way through! Oh, God! Oh, wow, that sucked. Welcome to the Find the Lever puzzle. Go past 10 rooms while finding each lever to pass each room. You won't need the rewind tool in the majority of these rooms. Good luck. So you're saying that there's there's 10 rooms. So it's a find the lever puzzle. This is an entire map nested as one stage within a room. Oh boy, I found it. Oh, I'm so good, dude. Do you see how good I was at finding that lever? God, that was legendary. So it's just, you know, just scavenger hunt. Oh, I was like, what the heck is going on here? Ah, it's just seeing the net. That's kind of a cool effect, though. Look at that. Look at that gradient through the leaves. Okay, where is lever? It's gonna be hidden under something, right? Like underneath the table, or... Mm hmm. Aha. Gotta investigate the trap doors. There we go. Okay. Forgot about that for a second. Oh, geez, you're gonna send parkour at my face. What if... Oh, God. What if the parkour is just a red herring, and the lever doesn't actually require you to get to the parkour? or do it at all. It's just, it exists for your torment so you can get to the end of it and be like, oh, I didn't have to do that after all. Huh, isn't that nice? Hold that thought, actually. I literally see the lever up there, so we do need to get to the top of that somehow. So the question is figuring out how to do the parkour. Hmm. 
Um, oh, wait, I can literally just... <laughs> to think I was going to have to do some crazy parkour to make that work. Alright, what do we have in here? This literally could be a map in and of itself. No need for the rewind tool at all, as he says. Um, it's just to find the lever puzzle. Yeah, this one was mean. Seriously, I have like two pixels to look at this through there, really? Nice. Wait, does it make his hat disappear? And re- Oh, wait, did I shrink him? I did. Sorry, bud. Well, at least he's, he's freed, actually. You're free to- No, you're not free to go around at all and be a real snow golem, so... Sorry about that. Okay, hey, you gotta like the empty bookshelf effect from the loom, huh? That's always pretty cool. Alright, well, what are you gonna do? to make this more difficult than I initially anticipate for it to be, huh? Wait. That, 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 that's where we just... You... I can't believe... Is this... Yep. Okay. Sweet. Nice. Thanks for that one. I appreciate you there. It's... God damn it. You know, after all the super hard ones to find, you would just, you just, there it is. I see it on the clouds up there. You would go bury it in this crazy obscure spot on one level, and then the next one you're like, I'll just put it right above the door. You know, why not? Boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Sick umbrellas, bro, except uh, they aren't using beds. But I, like, it's clever with them being on the strings. Uh, I'll give it to you there. What do this do? Ah. Uh, did that take me to a completely different place? No, I guess it just put me up on top of the uh, ventilation for the kitchen. And does that do something else? I know not. Where's the lever? Oh, wait, the button flips the room upside down. Yeah, okay. I don't know how I missed that one, but that's, that's a pretty significant difference. It shows how good I am at paying attention to detail. Good lord. All right, so I, I bet that I have to find the lever while it's inverted and then I flip it back over and then I can exit or something because that's where I came through but that that's also where I okay so it flips the entrance over just to this room alone whereas the rest of the place stays still um oh that's a thing oh hey what do you know and now that okay so it opened the door over there so now I flip it back and I can go cool that was tricky Still no need for the rewind. Oh, God, have you thrown another maze at me? Well, it was just a maze. So, we got the lever. Uh, now we gotta find the exit. Just down this spirally bit here. I don't know how many rooms this was so far, but... Is that... Time's pressed. Press this button 666 times to gain access to this lever. This, this is a joke, right? Like, I don't actually have to press it. 666 times. Okay, I guess we're, um, wow. We're not done with the lever bit, but this room is, you're not, you're not kidding. You're not kidding. Folks, he's not kidding. He's, is, I'm, is, okay. I almost feel inclined to check the walkthrough right now, just to see if this is actually happening. Wait, did I find the right one? Can I just, can I just go through? Wait, 70? 70? It's not counting that one. It doesn't count that one? It's not... the right... one? Um, everybody, we'll, we'll be back in um 10 years just in case you thought the man's was playing he's not i'm at 170 out of 666 now 180 i should have stayed up there uh but that's that's okay this this is an easy one comparatively can i just oh that's brilliant sometimes he makes it really easy on you and other times it's just it's tedious like there are a bunch of oh there's parkour now Okay, see if there's some variety in here, and it introduces some new mechanics. Like me f oh my god, it's a tall staircase. How is this? How is this? The- you know what I can do though? Uh, I can checkpoint myself, can't I? 
I forget about these things, don't I? All right, that's that's smart. That's smart. Let's not forget what this map is actually about. It's the rewind function. And um, I, you know, I've been so consumed with getting a hold of levers that I've forgotten that crucial bit of information, yeah? Okay, see, this is why we have the rewind. Thank goodness. And then up there, and now... Okay, cool. And then it sets me back to the beginning. Great. 220, boys! Keeping it going. Uh, oh my god, can you stop? No, I definitely can't stop. I've got to go to 666. Why are you dead? No one wants you here. Yes, yes. Just let me go to 666. I'm going to keep pressing you. Go on alive. No, I'd rather not. Wait, can I just do that? Did that count? I don't know if that counted or not. Wait, come on. No. Rude! No, stop this! God dang it. Are you serious? Oh, in another room. Oh my lord, what? Does it follow a preset pattern? Nope, just looking at it makes it go away. How am I ever gonna hit 666? I'm not even halfway there, and the button is teleporting! Help! How do I do this? I don't know how to do this. What the hell? And I've did it ten times to make this room go away. It follows a preset pattern. All I have to do is just spam click. It's the same as the last room. Just, just spam click. Keep clicking, and then eventually it shows up, see? And one more rotation, one more rotation. I think we get like two or three each time. Come on! Yes! Don't you, t oh my god, it's doing it again! Oh my god, it's doing it again! Wait for it, now I have to wait for it again. But it cycles quicker each time, so maybe it'll, yeah, yeah, yeah! Wait for it, wait for it, and then I do it again. I get like two in, I get two in each time. So gonna do five times, so I'm gonna die. Just in case you didn't believe that it got worse, there were like three more levels of it going insanely fast and also taking longer to get around, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, yes, 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 let me get all the way, let me just go all the way, I'm going all the way, thank you, thank you, my voice is cracking, this is a mess, uh, I, mm, what, I, I hit it many times, and I got unalived. <laughs> Was it supposed to do that? Wait a minute. Are all the doors open? Hold on. Did it just reset me back through the rooms? Why would it do that? Why did it... I did it. Did I break it? I think I broke it. I clicked it too many times. Maybe I got to uh, six, six, seven clicks on the... Th what, what? Why? Why is this in the rewind map? No, I have to find my way through the maze again. I see. Was that my punishment for passing 500? No, oh, we're still going. What are you throw at me next, huh? What are you gonna do? Just go away? No, I won't go away. This is what my life has come down to. What will make you leave me alone? Nothing. Just let me through! This might help you out. What do you mean this might- Oh, I'm gonna have to- I can't believe you've done this. I just shoot it with an arrow now. I'm not sure what just happened, but things got real laggy. So, it- This is your last chance. No. That's it. Six more. Come on. Four. Five. I did it! The door is open! Oh my god, the door is open! Ha! Huh. This lever has a gift and a curse. Did I make- I made it out of the room! I made it out- I can't believe I made it out of the room. This is- This is brilliant. Wait, what does it do? It's a gift and a curse. Huh. Okay. What does that do? Oh, that spawns a bunch of parkour. Okay, well, let's not forget we have the rewind feature in case things go badly for me. Guess I gotta be a little bit quicker, huh? Okay, so let's do this. Get up there, and then... And save? Maybe? So we have that. But then we also... Oh, frick. Oh, God. Wait a... Wait a minute. So I do this. Wait, but that doesn't lead me out. Hold on. Can I... Can I jump this? No, I can't. So I need to get to the... Wait a minute. Oh, God, how do I do... Oh, I think I know what I need to do. Oh, Jesus, man. So, I do this. That gets me up that high. So, first I need to rewind on that pla... Oh. oh, this is a mess. So, wait, I can do this. No, I didn't want to save there, you idiot! Hold on, that allows me to go to either side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we can do this again. And stop being an idiot. There we go. Just go up without even sprint jumping. And now I, I save here. And now if I do that, that does the next, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I understand now what I must do. 
Okay, no, so hold on. What I do is I, I, I save here. Yeah, and then I go back down and go up here. I hope I just saved on the right side. And I go to there, I hit this button. Oh, I might wanna save directly in front of that one just to save time, but hopefully this will work. Okay, so do this. My mouse is spazzing out, so if I run out of trackpad, then I'm ruined, but there we go. Okay, now, see, here's what I'm contending with right now. If I lift my mouse up off the trackpad to reposition, I put it back down and I can't use it for a second. And yes, I have cleaned it out. I've done everything. It just, after a while, my mouse expires and I need a new one. So anyway, this, okay, it does that. That's, that seems good, right? All right, so I can save here and just go all the way up. Yeah, great. great. No, okay, I have to be faster. That's fine though, at least we saved. God, how do I go freaking faster? Go, go, yes! Listen to the signs. I can't really hear them. They're not talking, but I can see them. So, save? Listen to the signs, huh? Can I right click it? No. If I fall down, does it do anything? Oh, it takes me back to here. Oh, I wonder if I rewind. Oh, okay, so it does a bridge. Which, oh, okay, so I bet gift and a curse, it gives you the bridge, but it probably closes the exit. Is that what it is? So now I can save here, go back, flip the lever, and then the door's open. Brilliant! Oh, I flipped all the levers. Is that it? Is that all I had to do? Oh my god, this has been an experience, man. Oh, now I'm, we really rewound. I'm in front of the big D. Good job! That was supposed to be the final level, but I want you to do me a tiny favor and power up something for me. It's so easy, even you can do it. Alright, as you say. Wait, is this something that... Were we back here before? This way, this... Oh, no, this is new. Uh, we weren't levitating before. Save. Um, a slight problem. Oh, okay, and we're down. Okay, just gotta make sure I sneak on through here before it throws me up. Alright. Wait, what did it say? It said, um, where are we at? This might help you out. Good job. That was supposed to be the fun. All you have to do, uh, all you do is have both buttons that are corresponding to their colors activated at the same time. Also, don't fall down there or you will unalive. Die is fine because die in colors. And I'm going to have to rewind you, causing the puzzle to be rewinded also. Okay. Don't fall down there. I see. So two buttons corresponding to each color, huh? Does it do, so if I hit yellow, does that do something? I can hit yellow over here, and I wonder if something happens when both of them are activated. No, doesn't seem to be. Huh, so we hit orange and orange. Oh, they have to be activated at the same time. There goes my mouse, as you can see. I get it now, so we probably be like, save in front of orange, and then we go to the orange on the other side, hit it, and save. I see. I was like, how does the rewind mechanic come into play here? Obviously that. There we go. All right, and then what do we have elsewhere? We've got um, brown, which, is there any other brown? Green is over there. So we can do that. And then we'll hit up green over here. So let me see, does that mean that one of these, like, I'm expecting them to kind of colorize the glass into the center, but I guess that's not how it's working. All right, so. Got it! Green, and then pink is another. So we can do this one. Oh wait, brown is just across the way over there, easy. I don't know if it matters what color we do though. So, all right. Got it, and then brown. Easy, boys. Easy. This should be the final one, maybe. I don't I don't know. Okay. That was that was four. Wait, do I have to I have to do more? I have to do all of them? I gotta do all of them. Got it. Oh, it does actually colorize the glass. Red is the last one. So hopefully this will let us out. It seemed pretty simple. So I'm hoping that we didn't have to do it in any sort of order. Hey, we did it, I think. Sweet. That was pretty simple as a finale. 
in comparison to the red button. Thanks for playing Rewind 2. I hope you enjoyed the map. Credits are on the right, so be sure to check it out. Also, if you want to replay the map, then go to the left and rewind back in time. Clever. Clever, I'll give you that. All righty. Well, um, let's check out the credits. Thanks to uh, the people who contributed and stuff. Thanks to watching. Uh, thanks to you for watching. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more Minecraft maps. Subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for ones in the future. And um, that's, that's pretty much it. That button thing was a doozy. I'll see you next time.